Hey guys, I'm Stratus, and uh, this is your instructional video on how to make a PixArt server. So most all this information you can find here on the PixArt forum, um, and this really is the guide I, I follow to create it. Um, I just wanted to create a video to kind of help some people, maybe, you know, some people, you know, better visually. So anyways, you want to download the Steam command file. Um, you'll unzip that in a directory where you want. Uh, for me, that's, also, that's on my C drive. I have the Steam command folder here, um, where the executable went. You run that; it creates all this stuff for you, um, first time. And then I have my PixArc server here on the C drive as well. Nothing was in here to begin with. The only thing I created was the update PixArc.bat, and then that would be this command line here. So you put start, double quotes, and then the directory of where your Steam command exe is located. Plus login, I'm using anonymous, and then you basically you force the install to go to this directory, which is the C drive, um, and my server name PixArc. And then of course you want to put in the app ID, which is uh, eight two four three six zero, and then you put validate to the end. A lot of people will put plus quit at the end of this as well. I leave it off as part of uh, when I'm I've had issues in the past when I'm updating a server and it's not updating properly. Uh, whether or not it's not accepting credentials or the ports aren't being opened for whatever reason, I'm, it's just not connecting. I take off that quit so that it, the window won't actually close once it's completed doing whatever it's doing. Because if it is failing and you have the quit, as soon as it's done and it encounters an error, it'll automatically close out. Leaving that quit off will keep that off. And I'll actually go ahead and I'll show you that real quick. Um, let's see if I move these out of the way here. That's my son in the background. Uh, actually, I don't even know. Here it is. So, go ahead and run this. You can see here it's going to go through and do its. Well, it's got to connect first, and then it's going to go through. And since I already have it downloaded, it's just going to go through and validate. The validation process is fairly quick. If you're downloading the game for the first time, it's going to take several minutes, depending on your connection speed. For me, uh, downloading the full game, I think it took about 10, 15 minutes almost. Um, which really wasn't that bad. So you can see the validation is almost done. It's already up to 80%, 85, and this last little stretch it seems to take the longest. But anyways, since I have removed that plus quit, this is what you get. It'll say success, you know, fully installed. And then, of course, it's just sitting here with the blinking. If you added the dot quit, this would actually close out and promptly. Um, you can either close it out by, you know, just closing the window, which will give you a uh, closing error whatever which doesn't going to hurt anything the other way to close this out would just be to type in quit and there that's the proper way to exit out of there so once you got that done all this should be here and existing um, now we'll go into the next part which is this run me to start um, start the Pixar or the Pixar server here um, and this is this kind of long line here so let me go back to that directory real quick should be running a little slow all right so the executable that this bat file is going to execute will be in let's see here we have it goes shooter game binaries win64 and there it is pixar server exe so really you don't need to see it but i mean if you're one to verify to make sure that it is there in the game installed properly after you ran the update but anyways You'll have start, just like the other one, uh, double quotes, slash normal, then the directory to the exe, wherever you place it. So you're going to want to, this should all be standard right here, starting with shooter games, going to the exe. That should be a standard same. The only thing that's going to change is where you place that. So mine starts with PixArt on the C directory. Then the rest of this should be pretty much the basics, everything that you have. You'll have uh, Cube World Lite, Listen. Uh, you can change your max players. I have it set to 10. And then I'm using the default ports currently right now, 27015, 2016, or 27016 for the query port, and 20, uh, 2717 for the Archon. And then, of course, I, I called my server the Four Horsemen Pixarc. Makes it a little bit easier to search for. Um, I don't put any special characters. Probably can, but uh, I just leave it plain text right there. Um, you want to set a, a server admin password. Right now, mine is set to a... PW, uh, PWD123, uh, 
And then lastly, you want to have no battle eye because from what I understand, there's a glitch right now with that where it's blocking people, I believe. Uh, no Steam client, dash game, dash server, dash log. And then I've heard to add this. Some people say it's a random port. I don't believe so. But just in case, um, this will go ahead and should assign that this port. This is the port you're also going to need to have port forwarded. So this 14999. And then the query port, the regular, the uh, server port, and the Archon port all need to have those port forwarded to wherever you're running that server. So with that there, um, that is all you really need. You get all the ports forwarded. Um, and we can go ahead and run this. There we go. It'll flash there for a second. So I've already ran this. My world has already been created. Let me go ahead and slide this all the way over because I don't like the wrap around. Oh, it's lagging. My connection right now is just really slow. All right, here we go. So, uh, let's expand a little bit more here. Just a single line. When you first start it up, um, if your world is just being created and generated for the first time, you're going to see a lot of messages in there about biomes not existing. So basically, it's going to go through and create your world for you for the first time. So you're going to see a lot of stuff pop up. You want to give this probably about 10, anywhere from like 10 to 20 minutes to actually stand up and create your world. Once it's done, you'll get a successful message saying that it stood up. And it should be all good to go. But remember to give this a long enough time. You don't want to exit out of this or close this or restart this or any process. If you do, when it's in the middle of creating your world, you can corrupt your world file. And that will block... Uh, possibly you from being able to connect to your server and that's one of the things we'll go through for troubleshooting if you are not able to connect which is a lot of people seem to be having so far on this first day I know I experienced it and I uh, taking a few steps um, and I'll go through the troubleshooting steps that I did and it seemed to have helped a few people from looking around on the Pixark forum all right so the official the server finally started up um, it went through all these messages you see this where chunks uh, used um, states, all this. Now, most of these, you might, you might see these pop up. You might see them in yellow as they're first being created. But after, you'll see a lot of this kind of gets spit out. And then down here, it uh, looks like it finally completed here. And then there, it just uh, went ahead and, uh, let's see, a synchronous task. All right, so it just, uh, looks like it didn't, uh, ran a, a check. Um, so if I open up here and hit refresh, you can see my server is listed in here. Now, this is one thing I was trying to join off this in the past, um, and this is part of the troubleshooting as well, where it's recommended not to join it from this menu here, but to actually boot up the game and load it from the game. So that's what we're going to go do next. All right, so now that we got the game up and loaded, you'll click on Join. And then, so you want to filter on your center. First, make sure that you have unofficial selected uh, you should by default have official selected and then you want to go up and filter and type in the server name that you gave it for me since my name is uh, four horsemen pixark uh, it's already there I've joined it once before um, you'll click on it and then you go down to the bottom and click join and then it should start loading you might get a screen like this sometimes it'll go like this and it'll go back to the list of servers um, it's still joining so don't worry um, the only time you should worry if it pops up with an error message saying unable to join or lost connection. Um, but as you can see here, it takes you to the loading screen, or not the loading screen, sorry, but the character creation screen. Um, and if you do have some other issues, like with the world, or maybe it's your profile, um, you might only get this. And then after you create your character, and I'll show you here, um, look at me, a little preset that I have. Um, just made them kind of tall and skinny. But uh, we'll go ahead and select the rally point where we want to spawn in at. I'm going to leave his name. And, okay, go ahead and create new. And then, so this is where a lot of people um, apparently have been getting hung up. Uh, where this, you know, It's loading, and you'll have the three blocks, and they just sit there and spin. This happened to me earlier. It spun, it spun for probably about two to three hours before I finally gave up on it. Um, and that kind of connotes to, uh, I believe, the corrupt world file or the client profile. So... You can see it's working. I am in now in the game, and I'm able to play. So hope you guys and uh, hope it works for you guys. And uh, I'm going to go through some of the uh, helpful hints here next to make sure that 
the, just for the few trouble shooting steps that I have. Okay, so if your ports are open, everything, you know, your ports, you've checked your port forwarding, all the ports work, and you're still having issues and you've, you know, started up your server and still having issues not being able to connect to it, um, and you've, you know, restarted your server multiple times, it could be the fact that maybe your server file got corrupted. So I recommend is, obviously, if you don't have anything, you know, truly indebted to the server yet, hopefully you haven't, somebody hasn't been on there or doing something you want to go ahead and get into your PixArk server. Um, for me, it's six, the C directory. Now, this is for the server. Um, PixArk folder, which is my, how whatever you saved it. You want to go to Shooter Game, and then you'll have this saved file. You just want to go ahead and delete that. Um, and then you'll go back to wherever you have your start file and just rerun it, and that save file will get regenerated. Your whole world actually should get regenerated um, and create a different seed and all that. So... That should have solved some people's problems, but for the most part, um, that worked for me um, because I think I had accidentally restarted the server thinking there was something wrong when it was actually building the server, uh, all the different biomes and the chunks. So if uh, hopefully this will work for you, just deleting that save file. So again, it's wherever you save the game, you'll go to shooter game and then just delete that and then restart the server, um, having it having that whole thing get recreated. Okay, so one of the troubleshooting techniques is that for some reason, if you maybe if you're still working on your server and you tried to join it beforehand and had an issue, um, your client could be corrupt. So what you want to do is on your local client is you want to go to wherever you installed the game. So for me, it's my E drive, um, Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, PixArk, Shooter Game, and then you want to delete this file called Saved. And that way, when you clean it, it'll be recreated the next time you create the game or open up the game and it should be all cleared out and if there's any corrupted files in that directory it'll clear it out all right guys that's it for this video uh feel free to comment if you guys need help and i will put all the links in the description see you guys later